Russia has announced that it used Iskander missiles against Ukrainian military infrastructure, in response to what it calls provocations by Ukraine. The Iskander missiles are known for their accuracy and ability to penetrate enemy defenses, and their use in this conflict marks an escalation in the ongoing tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The situation remains tense and fluid, with both sides accusing each other of aggression and violations of international law. The international community has called for a peaceful resolution to the conflict and urged both sides to exercise restraint. The 9K720 Iskanda is a mobile short-range ballistic missile system produced and deployed by the Russian military. They travel at a terminal hypersonic speed of 2,100 to 2,600 meters per second, max 6 to 7, and can reach an altitude of 50 kilometers as they range up to 500 kilometers. The missile systems were intended to replace by 2020 the supposedly obsolete OTR-21 Tokar systems in the Russian military. The Iskander has several different conventional warheads, including a cluster munitions warhead, a fuel, air explosive enhanced blast warhead, a high explosive fragmentation warhead, an earth penetrator for bunker busting and an electromagnetic pulse device for anti-radar missions. The missile can also carry nuclear warheads. In September 2017, the KB Maschinostroenia general designer Valery M. Kashin said that there were at least seven types of missiles for Iskander, including one cruise missile. The Iskander ballistic missile is superior to its predecessor, the Oka. The Iskander M system is equipped with two solid propellant single-stage guided missiles, Model 9 M723K1. Each one is controlled throughout the entire flight path and fitted with an inseparable warhead. Each missile in the launch carrier vehicle can be independently targeted in a matter of seconds. The mobility of the Iskander launch platform makes a launch difficult to prevent. Targets can be located not only by satellite and aircraft, but also by a conventional intelligence center, by an artillery observer, or from aerial photos scanned into a computer. The missiles can be retargeted during flight in the case of engaging mobile targets. Another unique feature of Iskander M is the optically guided warhead which can also be controlled by encrypted radio transmission, including such as those from AWACS or UAV. The electro-optical guidance system provides a self-homing capability. The missile's onboard computer receives images of the target, then locks onto the target with its sight and descends towards it at supersonic speed. Boost phase thrust vector control is accomplished by graphite vanes similar in layout to the V-2 and SCUD series tactical ballistic missiles. According to some rumors, in flight, the missile follows a quasi-ballistic path, performing evasive maneuvers in the terminal phase of flight and releasing decoys in order to penetrate missile defense systems. American officials have confirmed the use of decoys in at least some versions. The missile never leaves the atmosphere as it follows a relatively flat trajectory. The missile is controlled during the whole flight with gas dynamic and aerodynamic control surfaces. It uses small fins to reduce its radar signature. The Russian Iskander M travels at a hypersonic speed of 2,100 to 2,600 meters per second, max 6 to 7, and an altitude of 50 kilometers. The Iskander M weighs 4,615 kilograms, carries a warhead of 710 to 800 kilograms, has a range of 500 kilometers and achieves a circular error probable of 5 to 7 meters, when coupled with optical homing head, 30 to 70 M in autonomous application. Iskanda is a tactical missile system designed to be used in theater-level conflicts. It is intended to use conventional or thermonuclear weapon warheads for the engagement of small and area targets, both moving and stationary, such as hostile fire weapons, air and anti-missile defenses, command posts and communications nodes and troops in concentration areas, among others. According to Russian claims, the area of destruction from a single warhead is 25,000 square meters, or about two football fields, and the accuracy of the missile allows it to hit targets the size of a small window from a range of several tens of kilometers. In 2007, a new missile for the system was test-fired, the R-500 cruise missile, with a range of applications up to 2,000 kilometers or more. Presently, Iskander M system, outfitted with cruise and ballistic missiles, is being delivered to the military. In 2013, Army Missile Brigades first received missiles equipped with a new control system. As of 2018, the Iskander missile complex can now strike static sea targets. In 2020 it was said that the MAZ was the primary supplier for the chassis of the launchers for the Iskander M, 
because the domestic Russian products are of comparatively low quality. The system can be transported by various vehicles, including airplanes. When nuclear-armed, the warhead is estimated to have a yield of 5 to 50 kilotons of TNT.